What's going on everybody? My name is Alex Freeberg and in this video we're going to be going over the where statement in SQL. In the very first video we created our table, inserted data into our table. In the second video we went over the select and the from statement and now we are on to the where statements. Now what does the where statement do? It helps limit the amount of data and specify what data you want returned. So we have a, quite a few concepts that we're going to be covering today. Let's just start out with something really easy. Let's do where first name equals Jim. Really simple. So we're selecting everything where our first name equals Jim and this is our output. So really, really simple. Now let's try where it does not equal. This right here says does not equal Jim. And let's execute that. And as you can see, we have everybody except Jim Halpert in there. So now let's look at the greater than or less than. So in this table, I think the one that we're gonna look at is age. So let's look at age and let's do where it's greater than 30. And when we execute that, we're gonna get everyone who is over the age of 30. Now, as you can see, we're not including people who are 30 years old. If we wanna include people who actually are 30 years old, we're gonna add the equal sign right there. So we should be seeing people who are now 30. So before Pam and Jim were not in there and now they are. If we do the exact same thing, let's do less than 32. Here's everyone that's gonna be included, but if we wanna include the people who are 32 year old, then we are just gonna add that equal sign and now the people who are 32 years old, like Toby and Meredith, are now included. If we wanna go even further, we want people who are less than or equal than 32 and who are male, we can say, where gender equals male. So now we have two things that we are specifying that we need. We need someone whose age is less than 32 and we need their gender to be male. So let's execute that. And we have four people who meet that criteria. So that's what the and statement does. If we write or, then only one of these criteria has to be correct in order for it to be met. So if we hit execute, now we're saying anybody who's under the age or equal to 32 or their gender equals male. So if we look down here, Michael Scott is actually 35 years old, so he's over 32, but since he is male, he is now included. Let's get rid of everything really quick. I want to look at this like really quick. So let's execute just that, and if you do that, you highlight just that and hit execute, then it uh, will only run what you have highlighted. So now let's look at this whole table. Now, when you're using like, you typically are doing this for sometimes numerical, but most of the time you're using it for text information. So if we're looking at this right here, if I'm looking at last names, and let's say I want everybody whose last name starts with S. You can't really do that with anything else. So I'm going to say where it's like, and then I'm gonna say S, and after that, I'm gonna put a percent sign. That's actually called a wild card. And if I close that off, what this is saying is, is I want every last name where it starts with, or where it's like, where it only starts with an S. So let's run this really quick. Now we have two people whose last names start with S. Now, if I put a wild card at the beginning, we are now saying where there's an S anywhere in anybody's name. So let's execute this and see what we get. So now, even if the S is like Flenderson towards the end, it still counts. So you can specify multiple things in here as well. So let's say I want it to start with S that would return Schrute and Scott, but now I want something that also has an O in it. So, so it has an S at the beginning and then somewhere in there, there's an O. Now let's execute that. And there's only one person that meets that criteria. So you can do that for multiple things. You can even say OTT and let's execute that, and he's still gonna be returned. And if we put C at the back, it's not gonna be returned because it follows it in order. So it isn't S, O, T, T, C. The C would actually need to go over here. So now we have S, C, O, T, T, and although there's a bunch of wild cards in here, it is gonna return Scott. So that is a little bit, a little hint at how you can use like. There is a little bit more that goes into it. You can use it for numerics. Um, there's a lot of things that you can use this for, but this is just the basics, how you can use it 
today, how you can get started on using the like. In a nutshell, that is how you use like. And as I said before, you can use like with numerical data as well. But for demonstration purposes, I wanted to use text data. Let's get rid of this really quick. Um, let's look at our entire table. And I wanted to show you how to use null and not null. I can't really show you how to use null because I do not have any null fields. I could easily update this table and make one null, but that's in a future video where it's a little bit more advanced where you can start altering your data. But just for purposes of showing you what null and not null is, let's do where first name is null. And if we see, that's not gonna return anything, but if we say is not null, it's gonna return everything because nothing in here is null, nothing in this first name column is null. So that's how you use it. Um, there are a lot of use cases where you actually will use null and not null. That will be in future videos, probably in the project section or the portfolio section. But we weren't able to show really how to use this super well, but just as a demonstration, that's really all it does. It looks at the whole column and whether it is null or not null. That's really all it's used for. This is actually super useful and you can use it in a ton of situations. But again, for demonstration purposes, that's really all it does. So let's get rid of this. Let's look at in really quick. So in is kind of like the equal statement, but it's multiple equal statements. So let's say we wanted to say we're first name equals Jim. And then we were like, wait, we also want to include Michael Scott. So then we would have to write and where first name equals, and then we would do Michael, and then et cetera, et cetera, for anybody that we wanted to include. But if we said in, we could do an open parenthesis, and then we can say Jim, we can say Michael, and we can say as many people as we want going down the road, just separating it by commas, and if we hit execute, everything would be returned. So it really is just a condensed way to say equal for multiple things. So that is the where statement. I think the where statement can get extremely complex, but this really is highlighting the basics. So if you can learn all of these concepts, you will absolutely have the basics down and will be set to go over some more intermediate and more advanced things with the where statement later on. In the next video, we're gonna be going over the group by and the order by, and then we are done with the SQL basics, and then you can practice and work your way up into my intermediate level videos, which are gonna be coming out very shortly after these videos. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you like this tutorial series, be sure to subscribe below and I'll see you in the next video.